Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your love tarot reading for November 2022. This is a general love reading for all you Aries. So feel free to take with you whatever resonates and to leave behind for others whatever does not. I'm going to start out with this spread, do some clarifications, and close off with an oracle card message. So here, in terms of the energy, influencing energy of the reading, you have the hermit. So perhaps you've spent some time on your own recently, or kind of had a lot of experiences love life experiences that you have really felt um, that you're more aware and more knowledgeable about what is it that you want when it comes to love. So here in this first column, we look at what you can embrace for a more fulfilling love life. You have Chang'o, Divine Feminine. You have Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. In the second column, we find out what will intensify your passion. You have Bear Spirit Healing. You also have the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, and in this third column, we take a peek at how love will surprise you. You have differences. Oh, this one wanted to be seen as well. You have regret. Differences and regret. Okay, so you have three of wands, eight of pentacles, and ace of pentacles. So you've got two aces here and the fool. So there seems to be a lot of new opportunities coming in for you, Aries. With this divine feminine, what to embrace for a more fulfilling love life, there are aspects of yourself, your femininity, um, whether you identify as a female or you do not, each of us have that feminine energy. And for you, embracing more of that, that more um, being receptive, um, allowing your emotions to flow a bit more. And you have this Ace of Cups, so it seems like there is an opportunity for you to really, you know, dive into your emotions, to not only dive into your emotions, but your intuition, um, your senses, your sensuality. With the Knight of Wands, you've got this fire element of adventure and passion and really, um, you know, focusing on that fire within you. And with the Three of Cups, there seems to be a uh, you know, people around you that can celebrate, help to celebrate that aspect of yourself, the more emotional, tender side of yourself. So let's do some clarification here, Aries. Overall, these cards seem positive, look, look pretty positive. Even the you know, even the regret and the differences in the healing. So let's take a look at the Three of Cups up there. Ooh, you have the devil. Okay. So here, there are two ways that I am kind of going with this Three of Cups clarified by the devil. There might be, um, you know, negative patterns, negative thought processes, or um, kind of, what's the word I'm thinking into, uh, giving in to temptations, going along with what others are doing, um, 
just for a, a sense of, uh, I guess, being easy, easy going. Um, but I'm going to pull one more card here because it also could be that your, <clears throat> your social group could pull you out of whatever this negative pattern is. So I have the high priestess that's there in the, uh, this column here under um, what will intensify your passion. So, you know, for some of you, it may be that um, you follow the group or what you think would impress your friends as opposed to tapping into your your own intuition, your own knowing and following your your gut instinct. Um, perhaps you listen to them about uh, ways to view your relationships and it's not really helpful in terms of being fulfilled in your love life. Maybe there's a lot of, you know, talking smack about the people that you date or where things are going. That might be for some of you, Aries. For others, it could be that um, your your social group is trying to encourage you to tap more into your, you know, trust your gut and not necessarily go back to certain patterns um, when it comes to your love life. So let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. Um, that is definitely a sassy, passionate, uh, divine, feminine energy. Someone who is loyal to what their heart desires. And let's take a look at the Knight of Wands. You have the Seven of Swords. So here, in terms of the Seven of Swords, that's typically a liar, stealer, cheater card. Um, you know, for some of you, if this Devil card has to do with um, your friends trying to have you break out of certain negative patterns, it could be when it comes to the things that you are actively pursuing, the people that you're actively pursuing. Perhaps you tend to go for um, people that end up disappointing you or end up not being exactly who you thought they were. Uh, with embracing this defined feminine, it's perhaps encouraging you to um, do more of the receiving, you know, See how you feel about someone and not necessarily uh, move towards them. Um, do, doing the pursuing, maybe allowing for more time to, you know, see, see what develops with them before pursuing them. And with that divine en energy, it's, or sorry, divine feminine, um, embracing that being more um, acknowledging of your, your worth, your value, your beauty as well. So here in this second column, what will intensify your passion, you have this bare spirit healing. And that does kind of indicate a sense of um, looking at some aspects of your past that maybe you haven't completely resolved um, and taking some time for yourself, taking some time to um, recognize what it is that you need, what provides you some comfort. Um, with the high priestess here, there is a sense of, you know, tapping into your intuition, really this healing will allow for you to be in touch with your senses more so that you can fully embrace and intensify whatever passions that you have. If you have a better sense of um, what your, your gut is telling you. With the Nine of Pentacles here, this is about 
independence. This is about um, kind of not only just standing on your own two feet, but really embracing everything that you've created in your world um, in the material sense. And with the fool here, there is a sense of newness, a sense of excitement about what will come into your life and having open heart, open mind um, about the experiences without necessarily having preconceived notions about them. Um, so with the high priestess here, you have the Eight of Cups. So to some degree, Aries, it seems that you may need to walk away from certain things that aren't serving your best and highest good. It does seem that you might know what those things are because you have the high priestess clarifying the devil over there. Um, and so it may be that you have a certain sense about things that you are ignoring um, or have been ignoring and not really trusting yourself. And that might be something that you need to heal as, as well. Because here with this Nine of Pentacles, it's as if you totally and fully can rely on yourself. And with the full here, uh, it's a similar, a similar notion of that. So let's take a look at the Nine of Pentacles. You have the full again. And with the full, let's see what we have. While well, these two cards want to come out, you have the sun and the ten of pentacles. So Aries, this, whatever healing that you need to do to kind of start trusting yourself more, start trusting your intuition, knowing when to walk away from something, and it's a sense of really knowing when it's okay or knowing that it is okay to choose to be on your own, um, to choose to be alone. And that makes the experiences, the new experiences that um, your intuition gives you the green light for, it gives it a sense of, uh, you know, that here's this fire element, um, a sense of joy and this passion will burn brightly and it will help lead you to the things that you want, um, the material things that you want in life when it comes to where you see your future, um, you know, in terms of your material wealth and the people that you are surrounded by to enjoy those things. So here, in terms of how love will surprise you, you've got this differences and regret. So these, at first glance, they seem like cards that are downers, and they probably are. And maybe that's what the, the healing is for, is to kind of look at um, the things that you do regret. Um, it, it almost seems like the regret is more um, staying in situations longer than you should have or wanted to when you look back on a situation. Because with this three of wands here, it's as if you are looking out and really planning for something better, something um, greater. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, it may be that you were the one doing a lot of work and making, you know, a relationship try to last, um, try to work through those differences. And here with the, the Ace of Pentacles, um, it's almost a, a sense of you realizing that the you know, the less active work that you do to try to make it work and just allowing for, um, you know, things to come to you that are, 
that you feel are right for you, it will lead to these new, um, you know, these new opportunities for investing in a relationship that you want, possibly even investing more in yourself. So let's take a look at the Three of Wands. You have the Knight of Cups. So here you really have wanted to kind of maybe is it is this online dating three of wands i usually think of as online dating in the sense of really um spreading out your your passions and desires as far as you can go and with the knight of cups um it is definitely a focus on um wanting love wanting to communicate from the heart and you know recognizing recognizing that um it's okay to let things go it's okay when even you know if if you're feeling things might not work out not necessarily having to struggle to make it work so let's look at this work card. You've got the Knight of Wands. So over here again, you're the one putting in that, that action, um, pursuing things, making things go the way that you're trying you want them to go. Um, and here, you know, it's it's as if love will surprise you when you again um, accept and embrace more the divine feminine the receptive aspects the the part where you are allowing things to come to you like this ace of pentacles this is a gift here you have the two of wands so again this concept of really wanting something else kind of wanting to um, get outside of your your comfort zone. Um, you know, Aries, if you're in a relationship already or contemplating ending one or dating someone that is, you know, you're not sure about, these cards kind of indicate that being more receptive, really taking time for yourself, um, taking a step away from the things that aren't fulfilling you, aren't serving your best and highest good, um, and really acknowledging when things kind of are not, are kind of over with or done or not going to work. Like those things are going to help you have a more fulfilling love life. So let's take a look at closing this reading with some oracle cards to uncover more love surprises this month. You have wisdom and memory. So Aries, it seems like there is, again, we started off with the energy of the card being the hermit or the energy of this uh, reading, the influencing energy. So a sense of wisdom based on your past is really going to help you um, embrace your your love life, your um, passions and love surprises in the month of November. I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective of love for you this month. To uncover more about the month, check out your readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.